Hi, my name's Claire Shea Simmons and I work for the Duke of Edinburgh's Award. Um, ordinarily, I would be coming into your school right now uh, to tell you a little bit more about the award um, and what's involved. Um, unfortunately, in the current climate, I'm not able to do that. So Miss Anderson has asked me to record this short video for you uh, to tell you how you can uh, find out more information about the Duke of Edinburgh's Award. The Duke of Edinburgh's Award is an achievement award. It's there to recognise all the great and positive activities that you maybe currently do, or perhaps activities um, that you might undertake uh, for the first time in fulfilment of the, the award. There are four sections to the award. The uh, first section I'll talk about is the expedition section, which is probably the one that is most synonymous with the Duke of Edinburgh's award. Uh, so that requires you to work with a group of friends to plan and carry out an adventurous journey over two days where you'll be required to spend uh, one night camping. Um, so don't worry, we won't set you out uh, unprepared for that. Um, with Miss Anderson, you'll undertake a program which will prepare you uh, for that expedition. So you'll cover things like camp craft, putting up tents, using a stove, uh, map skills, navigation, using a compass, um, all these fantastic skills that you'll learn in preparation for undertaking that group expedition. The other three sections, just as important, uh, that you will be required to undertake one of them for a minimum of six months. Um, so it would make sense to select an activity that you're perhaps already involved in as that longer section. So for example, if you play a musical instrument and you have lessons regularly, um, or you're a member of a football team already, um, or perhaps you uh, undertake dance classes on a weekly basis. Um, these are all examples of activities that you already do that will count towards your Duke of Edinburgh's award. So one of the three sections I'm going to talk about you'll undertake for six months. The other two, the remaining two, for three months. Uh, so those sections are volunteering, so that's all about you helping somebody else, um, making a positive contribution to your uh, community uh, or a charitable non-profit organisation. There's a physical section, uh, so that can be anything from the traditional team sports that you play in a club setting, uh, right through to something individual, uh, like walking, cycling or running that you do individually, um, as long as it's outside of school and outside of your curriculum PE offer, um, could be an after school club, then that will count towards your physical section. And the last one, which is the most varied of all of the sections, is the skills section. And that covers a whole raft of different types of activities, anything from creative activities uh, to photography, to baking, um, to vlogging, uh, coding. We have students doing all sorts of activities in that skills section. Maybe you're thinking you'd like some ideas about activities that you could do in fulfilment of your Duke of Edinburgh's Award, in which case I would direct you to our website www.dv.org and search for our programme ideas um, and you'll find lots of suggestions in there for activities that you can do uh, and some ideas about which uh, activities count for which of the sections. If you're interested and you want to uh, more information about how you sign up to do your Duke of Edinburgh's Award in September, um, please give your expression of interest to Miss Anderson at this stage. Um, and Miss Anderson will be compiling a list of those students um, who are interested in starting their award uh, in September when they start year nine. I'm going to say cheerio for now. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, and if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to send them to me via uh, Miss Anderson uh, and I'll do my best to answer those for you. Um, in the meantime, stay safe and I look forward to seeing you all back at Fullhurst in September.